Well, in a totally unexpected development here, Apple did end up dropping iOS 26 beta 9 today, exactly one week away from the Apple event where they're gonna unveil the new iPhones, Apple Watches, the typical song and dance that we've been talking about for a while, but we did not expect this one at all. So with this latest beta, this puts us on track yet again for a weekly release with the RC now coming next week after the Apple event, probably around 3 Eastern time, 3 p.m. Eastern time, I should say, in the U.S. here. So let's talk about this. First things first, if you're interested in all these wallpapers like we've been talking to you guys about, make sure to subscribe to the channel and thumbs up this video to get made aware when our Apple Rewind clip goes live later in the week, usually on the weekend. So first things first, let's actually jump into settings, general, and about, and now this latest version of iOS 26 beta 9 does indeed still have an A build. However, it's 23A. 5336A now. So this is still a good sign. I am glad to actually see Apple pushing out another update, especially since we just made our video about beta 8 not quite being ready and waiting on the RC build. So hopefully this will help squash some of those bugs. Now let's go ahead and also quickly jump into iPhone storage to see if this has improved since the last beta and it actually looks like it has. Looks like system data now is down to 32.72 gigs. Still not ideal, still pretty high, but it is good to see that that has still improved a little bit. And then also iOS is sitting at 6.72, or excuse me, 6.27 gigs for Apple Intelligence. iOS as a whole is at 13.55, or that total a little under 20. That is kind of what we've been looking at here recently. And then jumping into battery health and all that, it did just take another drop since our prior video this morning. We are now at 94% battery capacity and 374 cycle count. So again, definitely very, very happy that the new phones are coming out as we've dropped now 6% in the year. It is still a lot better than what we had on prior years, but still not ideal not being at 100% nonetheless. And then also, obviously, liquid glass. That is going to be the big call out here. And for the first time, pulling down control center in beta nine, it looks pretty much the same. Let's see if that glitch is still present when we swipe up for the first time. Sure enough is, it looks like it's a little bit improved, but it is definitely still there. The bounce animations, as you can see, are still present as well. And then you can see it does still look exactly like beta eight did. And then pulling down this control center here, you can kind of see, let's see that effect here. We still have those bounce animations. Nothing has really substantially changed. So that's good to see as well. Again, as we said with beta eight, everything will really hold true for beta nine. There are not going to be any changes here for the most part, except for under the hood performance and stability improvements. As you can see, jumping into the camera app, there is nothing new there as far as the splash screen goes. Let's go into the stocks app and see how quickly everything is performing. And yeah, everything still does look very good there. If we go to the developer website, you can actually see it's been updated here for beta nine. And I'm sure there's gonna be a laundry list of features and issues. And yeah, we're not gonna go through all these again. You guys can get the point. Apple has still been very hard at work trying to get ready for the public release of iOS 26, which leads us to our last topic today in this video, and that is what we can expect with this surprise release. I think everything is going to remain the same except for this edition of Beta 9 today, because on the 9th, I am still fully expecting us to get the RC, like I said earlier in the video, right after the Apple announcement. So once they release the RC or release candidate at about 3 p.m. Eastern on the 9th, next week on the 15th, we should see this go public. It's been a long time coming. It's crazy that it's been so long already since we started these betas, but it is almost ready. Again, this A build solidifies that, and we could technically see another beta this week as a re-release if needed, but I don't know if that'll necessarily be the case either. Who knows? Apple obviously only knows that answer. So aside from beta releases, let's talk about the iPhone release schedule. 
So like I said, we know the Apple announcement and the Apple event is going to be on the 9th year. We can assume pre-orders to open that Friday on the 12th. And then on that following Friday on the 19th, that is when all of Apple's new equipment should be coming out. Apple Watches, AirPods, Pro 3s, uh, and obviously the iPhone 17 series and all of those accessories that go with it. So we don't have to wait that much longer. As crazy as it is, we are only a week away at this point from getting Apple's new gear. So, like I said, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. How is Beta 8 and now Beta 9 treating you once you get your devices updated? Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.